Hey there guys, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Level Design Essential series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up your very first landscape material inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now we already have the basics of a landscape created, we know how to sculpt one, and what I want to focus on in today's video is just giving it a bit of colour, giving a bit of life, because at the moment we just have this checkerboard effect. Now this landscape tutorial stuff we did previously was a couple of video go a couple of videos ago and the reason why I left it is so we can get ourselves a little bit more familiar with materials before we create a landscape material so hopefully by watching the last video you guys should understand how materials work a little bit better now if you want to dive a little bit deeper into materials I definitely advise you check out my Unreal Engine 4 materials playlist and that will give you everything you need to know about materials but anyway without further ado let's go ahead and dive straight in. So with this landscape that we've got here, we need to create a brand new material for it. Now, when it comes to materials, as we know, we need to have a texture. So what I'm going to do is go into my starter content and then go into my textures folder and just make sure that we've got a couple of textures that we can use for this landscape. Now, there should be a couple in here that we can use. So if you type in rock, you should be able to find some rocks. I'm also going to look for some grass as well, and you can see that we've got the diffuse and we've got the normal map, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do, into, under my starter content, I'm going to go to my materials, and then I'm going to right click and create a new material. And I'm just going to call this landscape material, just like that. And then with this, I'm just going to double click to open it up, and that will load up our landscape material, well, not our landscape material editor, but our material editor. So what we need to do now then is pretty much find a way of merging a couple of different textures that we can later paint onto our landscape. And the way that we're going to be doing this is by using the landscape layer blend node. To get this, just right click and then type in landscape layer blend and then just click this. And what this is going to allow you to do is hook this node up to our base color or um, our normal map, our metallic, our specular, or whatever you need to do, and then just create multiple layers. And by creating these layers, it's really simple. All you gotta do is go to the details panel on the left-hand side, where it says layers, just press the little plus for add element. And I'm gonna work with three different textures for now. So I'm gonna have three layers. And then in the details panel, I'm gonna set the layer name for the first one to grass. And the second one is going to be uh, dirt. And then the third one is going to be called uh, rock. And you can see that after I've changed these layer names here, you can see the names in the layer blend node has now changed. And essentially all we've got to do from here is just put a, um, a grass texture in here, a dirt texture in here, and a rock texture in here. And then the landscape tool is going to allow us to choose which one of those types we're painting in. Now, one thing you do want to do is make sure you have one of these in your normal as well, because we will be using normal maps. And if you wanted to, you could do the same thing with all of these if you want varying, um, you know, specular, metallic roughness, which might be the case, it's entirely up to you. But for now, I'm just going to work with the base color, which is pretty straightforward, and the normal, which is going to give it a little bit of added depth. So, what I'm going to do is start off by adding some textures in for grass, dirt, and rock. Now, the first thing you want to do then is to do that is right click and type in texture sample, just like this, and then hook this up to your layer grass. Now, bear in mind, there's nothing in the texture sample at the moment. So in the details panel with it selected, just drop down and then in the, just press this little button here and it'll let you choose from all of your textures available and then just type in grass and then just add this here. So click T underscore ground underscore grass underscore D and we're all good. And then what you also want to do is just do the same thing. So type in texture sample and then from there just add in the grass. But this time we're after the normal map for this second bunch of them. And now what I'm going to do is find some dirt. So I'm going to do the same thing, right click texture sample and then with this just type in dirt see if you can find anything or mud um, 
let's see what we can find. So because I can't find any in the search panel like this, which isn't the easiest way of finding stuff, I'm just going to minimize this for a second. And then I'm going to go to my textures folder where I can see these a little bit better. And then what I can do is I can just go through these and manually select one. So I'm going to see if I can find something that's kind of like mud. So I think I've got one here. So T underscore ground underscore gravel. With this selected, I am going to go back into my landscape material just at the bottom here. And then with the texture sample selected, I'm going to press the arrow to use selected asset from the content browser. And then with this, I am just going to hook that up into layer dirt. And then if I move this down, I need to do the same thing for the other one, uh, for the normal. So I'm going to right click, texture sample, and then with the material, you can see here, the texture has automatically selected whatever I've got selected in the content browser. I'm just going to change this to normal map and hook this up to the right layer. Now there's only one more that we need, and that's going to be rock. So add in a couple of texture samples, one and two, and just hook these up to your last layer. And hopefully what you guys are starting to see here is sort of how the layer system for landscape material starts to sh uh, take shape. You use the layer blend node to create the different layers, and then you just hook up your different textures to this and any other effects that you want to do with this. So I'm going to add the last one, which should be rock. And the one that I'm after is going to be sandstone. And then over here, sandstone underscore n for normal map. Now, one thing that you might want to do to make things a little bit easier and make them display better on your landscape is type in, <clears throat> is right click and grab a landscape coordinates node, which is essentially going to allow you to scale all of your textures a little bit easier. So just hook this up into the UVs for each and every single one of these texture samples. Now you don't have to do it for all of them, you can have different landscape coordinates for each, it's entirely up to you. But generally I like to try and keep them the same scale and the way I'm going to do this is just by hooking it up just like this. I'm going to move it over so you can see that better as well. So I'm going to leave the defaults as it is, press apply and then from here what I want to do is make sure I don't have any glossiness as well because it's a landscape material you know, the ground should not be shiny. So what I'm going to do is just go to constant, add a constant, and I'm going to hook this up to the roughness. And I'm just going to set this to one. So if we press one, press apply, you can see now our material should be black, which is exactly how we want it. And then when we come to paint it later on, it's just going to be a matter of choosing which different layer we want to paint on. So that's choosing between the rock layer, choosing between the grass layer, and so on and so forth. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for our landscape material. From here, you should be ready to start painting it onto your terrain. And if you are looking forward to doing that, just jump into the next video and we will get started. Once again guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.